Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you, our respected viewers, and welcome to the Beliefs of Islam. This is Hassan Hadi. In today's episode, we will talk of miracles as evidence of prophetic claims. Now, logically accepting any proclamation fundamentally requires proof. The connection between the proclamation and the proof must be so reliable that the confidence is the reliability of the proclamation is indissoluble from the evidence provided. A prophet proclaims representation from Allah the Exalted. There is no way of proving this proclamation except from the confirmation from Allah the Almighty. Thus, a miracle is a practical confirmation from Allah for his proclamation as a prophet. A miracle takes place without a material cause, with a will that encompasses the cause and effect. The cause in the first place determines the effect, and the effect in the second place except determining from the cause, which is nothing but the will of Allah the Exalted. When a miracle takes place here with the proclamation of a prophet, then it gives certainty that Allah the Exalted performed the miracle for his confirmation. The best definition now which we can give for a miracle is that which exists out with the productive capacity of we human beings. When someone proclaimed to be a prophet, and it was rationally possible to confirm this, if he showed a miracle, it would be a convincing proof to verify his claim. However, if he was not truthful, then the occurrence of a miracle from him would be verification of a liar and a reason for misleading the people. Allah is far too exalted to act by authenticating a liar and misleading the people. Now Imam al-Rida said, If one said, why it's compulsory for them, meaning the masses, to know the messengers, acknowledge them and submit to their obedience, the reply could simply be, this is due to the creation not being able to reach imperfection with what is in their interest. The Creator is higher than can be seen. Now due to their weakness and incapability, the creation cannot perceive him. Thus it was a must that the infallible messenger be in between him and his creation to convey to them his commands regarding what to do and what not to do. Now in short, if we may put this in a context, he would teach them the matters and inform them of their interests and harms, as they do not have the ability to understand what they need and what is in their interest or what is harmful for them. Now in this regard, if recognizing and obeying the Prophet was not compulsory upon the people, then there would be no use of his coming. This would mean that he has carried out a useless act which he has not benefit in use. This is not the attribute of all wise who made firm everything. This is for today. Until we meet next episode, thank you very much indeed. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.